What's happening everybody? Amp Capo here at Black Adonis Games. We are inside of the Lesser God, Lyra, starter game, Unreal Engine 5. Got big, big, big surprise today guys. Lots going on, but uh, really two main things that I'm uh, displaying here that I've been working on. Let's go ahead and go in. What we've added today, I will uh, let you know in a second. First, I want to thank all of the people who have been subscribing, guys. We are at 917. This is amazing. Almost to the 1000 mark, which is good. Definitely need to get my uh, view time up a little bit, but still awesome, guys. Here we are in the game. Um, what we have added, we have added swimming and we have added flying. Swimming, uh, basically the volume for swimming is courtesy of Nance Dev Diaries. Once again, she comes with a really good uh, tutorial on uh, setting up volumes uh, for Lyra. So we're gonna go ahead, first we're just gonna go jump in the water so I can show you guys here. It auto puts away the weapon. And we have swimming, we have full swimming. Um, we also have climbing out of the water. All right, so I'll show you guys that. And I've been working on this for a minute. Still has work to do, but there we go. And when you climb out, there's water dripping off the body. If you look close, you can see water dripping off the body. Um, I use character skills for this uh, version. Let's go ahead and go to the fly. So we have the flying, and as you can see here, it's not bad. I have a dash and I have an up. I don't like this flying as much as the other flying. Um, I'm still working on the animations and stuff, but it does look pretty good. Looks okay. Um, I'm working on some directional uh, issues that I'm having with it, but it does work very well. With the swimming, I'm loving it. It's awesome. And you can come right out of the flight and be right back into action. So this is uh, better in this aspect. The other flying that I'm using, I'll show you that one in a second and let you see that one as well. Uh, that flying is actually a superhero flight component, I believe it's called. Um, I still have things to work on. Um, it ruined my, uh, my directional for my shooting. As you can see, the bullets shoot, but you can see I have double, uh, I have double projectiles on my bullets for certain scenarios, and the one is shooting where it's supposed to, but the other is shooting only straight ahead. So, excuse me. So, I have to work on that. So I have to go back to a previous version to figure out why it's acting the way it is but guys we do have flying um we have up we have down and like i said guys i'm still working on it but it does look pretty good you can do the targeting and shoot while you're in it so it's pretty cool i'm gonna uh pretty much eliminate being able to do anything else no shooting but you'll be able to target it from above while flying all right so we're gonna go down and this is all stuff that i'm still working on guys it, it's not the best this flying is not the best but it does uh recover and put me back into my Lyra starter game animations, whereas the other version does not. I'm using the other version now that you see this version. Alright, so we're going to stop this version and I'm going to show you the other version of the project. Alright, guys, we are in the other version here. In this version, I actually use superhero flight component and I add it and I like the flying a lot better, but it did disrupt my swimming. Um, swimming, I would have to add myself in this version, but I just wanted you guys to see it because it looks really good. And this is the version of flying that I really wanted to implement. And I just have work to do still on it. Um, what's happening is it's uh, the animations from 
the flight system are taking over. In the beginning, you can see here that I'm in uh, on the Lyra uh, starter game animations. But as soon as I go to dash and do things like that on multiple times, you're going to see here. Woo, oh, OK, I had to push fly. So you're going to see here that we have fly. Now, this version is, uh, like I said, the um, superhero flight component. This version of flying, I actually like a lot better. It looks better. It works better. It is just amazing. Um, I haven't gotten the ground slam to be perfect yet. Ooh, I actually just blew myself up there. I haven't gotten the uh, ground uh, effects to work the way I want them to, but everything else is pretty much in there. You can actually even change flight modes. I have it set to ground pound, and so we can actually change flight modes. If you see here, the leg now is down. Change it again, and you can see that the arm is forward. So I could change these flight modes on the fly. I do have a repair to do on one of the flight modes. Uh, the animation is not correct, so it doesn't work the way that I want it to. But you can see that we have all the different flight modes. So it's really cool that we do have them. Oh, I just blew myself up again. Got to be careful with some of the weapons. And I'm still working on a lot of the stuff here, guys. But the problem is, is that you can see when I start, I start off with the proper animations. Everything's good. Same thing, though, with the rotation. You can see both of them are causing my rotation on my uh, on my added projectiles to not be correct. The regular projectiles still shoot correctly. Um, and I'm going to work on it. But cannot be upset. This is a really really big improvement allowing you to travel across the level relatively fast um, I'm very impressed with it so far um, the turning everything about it is just good and I was able to get this uh, added into the project relatively easy Um, it took me a little time to just figure out what I was doing. Um, but the thing I don't like, as you can see here, the animation switches from the Lyra version to whatever's in the superhero flight animation. And I'm not a fan of the animation, so that is definitely a problem. Um... I have a vaulting component as well, and you can see the character is doing some weird stuff just standing straight up instead of vaulting. So I have things I have to work out between the different uh, blueprints to get this to work exactly the way I want. But for the most part, it's working pretty well, um, and it looks really good. Um, frames are still like in the 50s, like 57 FPS. But yeah, this flight mode is definitely better than the character skills version. I'm really digging this. I'm trying to uh, let the sun come up so you guys can see that as well. But like I said, it's just really well put together. Um, this version works really uh, pretty much um, flawlessly with the exception of it. Uh, taking over the animations I want to continue to have the Lyra animations as my base starts off that way so I have to figure out what I'm doing to get those things to work the way I want them to work but besides that guys this is a really uh, really big achievement for me it's something that I've been wanting to do and it's led me to want to go ahead and just recreate my entire project inside of Lyra um, I'm still going to be referencing my third person shooter kit version and my uh, FPS kit version by SB uh, just for the knowledge that I have in those. And I'll be bridging that knowledge over to this new project. But you got to admit that this is just a lot better looking. Um, the animations are just amazing. And I'm digging the flight thing 150%. So. 
that's it guys i just wanted to show you guys that i do have the flight done like i said guys i'm trying to let it get to daytime so you guys can see stuff in the daytime I'm like basically flying at night and it's still awesome it's awesome the sun's coming up right now um what i really like like i said is the fact that i can switch uh flight modes and it's really really neat it's not a big deal it doesn't take a lot of control to to do this um things that i learned is about binding the controls and how you can have uh bindings in the regular uh in the regular section that you normally put binders and then bindings i should say and then you can uh, also have the enhanced input so as long as they don't clash with each other you can use both at the same time i was able to do it with these and i'll, I'll display that a little bit more when i show you guys how i uh, actually how i did this especially for anyone that has one of these kits this will be amazing for you to make sure that you got uh able to put in the things you want now as you can see here as i'm trying to dash it's not doing all my dash moves see it tried to do a flip right there but it's definitely the animations are from the flight component and what i want to do is reset these when we land back to the lyra starter game animations so if you have any questions on this if you own any of these components and you uh, want some help on it definitely let me know it wasn't that difficult to do um, like I said, uh, everything still works. I just have to get the rotation rate and some of the things together here, but most of it like still works exactly the same. It's not a big problem. Uh, the, like I said, the ar weapon auto holsters when you get into any type of uh, flying or swimming. I'll show you guys the swimming on this one. It's just, like I said, it's not there anymore because the character skills is not working. So when we go in here to swim, you're just gonna see the character just kinda floats. And doesn't do anything is because it's looking to the uh, base animation from Lyra for the swimming because of uh, the way it's set up and like I said that's, I want to thank Nance Dev Diaries for setting that up uh, showing that setup really amazing she's got amazing uh, content so definitely go check out the site but as you can see here like I said once I restart my characters back in Lyra formation which is the formation I want the character to return to after flying which it does with the uh, shooter uh, with the character skills version but it just doesn't do it with this version so we'll work on it and we'll figure it out I think some of it has to do with the flight mode being in jump um, which is not allowing me to use my um, my Parker skills so this is all things that I'm gonna have to work out guys and different characters in the game will have different abilities I don't know how I'm gonna set the flight up for multiplayer mode obviously in the regular game you'll be able to fly once you have the skill but in multiplayer mode I'm thinking to have this skill be something that only certain characters have and you can only fly for a certain amount of time so you can't just fly you know all over the board like you do in the story mode so it looks good guys i want to thank everybody that's been subscribing to the channel man like subscribe tell a friend man it's amazing uh amp capo black adonis games oh i got somebody on me and she whipped me you guys have a good one man i want to thank everybody like i said for subscribing keep doing it guys uh watch these videos tell some friends to watch guys i'm trying to get those numbers up uh, so that I can afford to uh, do some things that I need to do. I got some upgrades and other things that I need to do to my equipment. So I definitely appreciate anybody that subscribes to the channel and watches the content. So we'll figure this all out, guys, and I'll let you guys know my progress on it. But for now, this is it. Am Capo, Black Adonis Games, man, the lesser god.